once again, my name is Mr. John Ray B. Cogler, your contemporary art instructor. You have 60 seconds to prepare yourselves for our discussion today. And please prepare your CPAR journal and ball pen for the notes. Your timer starts now. All right, time is up. Praise be Jesus Christ and Mary. Today let's talk about the worksheets or the art sheet that I've given to you. Last, yes, uh, no, yesterday. So I hope you've received each of you na amoying atong uh, worksheet. All right, so let's talk about the midterm arts that need to be accomplished. Of course, as a student, Itaganta mong task to explore, research, and make these arts, these different arts. So, natay 11 ka arts. And today, I will uh, tell you or I will have, I'll give you an idea kung saan sa paghimo, kung saan mga materials nga need ana ng mga arts. So, isa-isahin natin yan. First, we have here the leaf printing. Right, so here are the materials. Of course, kailangan natin ng leaves, no? Dahon. Then watercolor, paintbrush, long band paper, ruler, and marker. Okay, so sa left side ng inyong screen ay makikita ninyo ang isang artwork na ang tawag o tinatawag itong leaf printing. Okay, so ganyan lang ka-easy. And please take note. That the margin, no, ang inyong buhaton ng margin is dapat one inch. Dili pwede mo lapaw, dili pwede mo subra, o dili pwede makula. And also, dili ko lang hiwi. Remember that. I am very particular of margins. Please follow the instruction. And also, the orientations should be portrait. Patindog siya class. Tanan ng art, patindog, dili pwede landscape. Again, portrait. Okay, so take a look for the other examples. So this is an example of leaves printing. So on saan sa paghimo, of course, the first step na yung buhaton is you have to make a plan kung unsa nga, uh, unsa nga drawing or unsa nga art ang yung mong buhaton. No? Maguna-huna ba kang kahoy kung unsa nga nakit under as a screen? Yeah, so of course, pwede ka makayuse, pwede ka makapaint usa, pwede ka magpainting. Okay? But then, kinahangalan, makakita ko nga ni-apply to mode leaf printing. Any design. Dili lang kahoy-kahoy, dili lang yung anak. You can make your own. Next, we also have here the banana stock printing. Yes. Alright. So, in the left corner of the screen is an example of banana stock printing. Kailan po mag-banana stock? No? Kanaiyahang dahon, kabantay, kanaiyang nasa pinakatuhangan na kuhan, stock sa banana, ng dahon. Yes, that's what we call stock. Okay, so the materials needed are banana stock, cutter, watercolor, paintbrush, ko, uh, long band paper, ruler, and marker. Ang na teacher, pwede na po makagamit o crayons, Anna? No, you have to use banana, ah, no, um, watercolor rather. Okay? So, please make it clean. Okay, so again, take note again, the margin should 
be in one inch and the orientation should be in portrait. Okay? Okay, I hope everybody is uh, listening. Okay, next. Another example. So, see? I-cutra na ninyo ang banana stalk. Then, the first step na yung mong kinahanglan is kinahanglan ninyo nga mag-plan kung ano sa'yo mong lahat nga design. Then, i-apply ninyo, butakan ninyo, paint tong yung stalk, then i-stamp ninyo. Ikaw na bahala kung ano sa'yo mong lahat nga design. Next, we have here Gabby Stalk Printing. Okay. Just like banana stock printing, maumaura po ni sila, pero ang ilahang gigamit kay nga stock is na inline. Of course, gabi gi dapat ang gamito. Okay. So, sa picture ngayon yung nakita, that's an example of gabi stock printing. And the materials needed are gabi stock, cutter, watercolor, paintbrush, long band paper, ruler, and marker. Okay? Then, take note, again, kinahanglan ang margin is 1 inch. And the orientation should be in portrait. Dili po yung dig landscape, kinahanglan gatin dog. Okay? I hope clear na siya. Okay, so, uh, just like um, banana stock, no, ang gabi stock class, pa yan sa paghihapon, depende rin po ni Musa ang paggamit. Of course, you have to make a plan kung unsa nga design yung mga buha. Remember, portrait. Di ko mo dawat o landscape, kung makadawat o landscape, hindi na kong dawat o. No grade at all. Next, cotton buds printing. Okay, so mo siya pinaka-easy, of course. Kinahangan yung mga cotton buds. Set of cotton buds. Okay, kaya para kung mahal ka maglailain ng color, di di magsagol yung mga color, di mag-mix. So, iya-iya ang cotton buds. Then, watercolor. Long band paper, ruler, and marker. Nga nung dilig kinimawala ang ruler o marker. Of course, ay yung margin, kinahangan yung marker na siya. Di di pwede nga, yung hakong himuan o marker, mga lapis ra. Di na pwede. Dapat uniform. Then remember, ang margin kay 1 inch o ang orientation kay portrait. Am I clear? Good. So, tanawa ang other examples. Yes. So, pwede ka makapaint sa kung saan ka mo apply o um, printing sa cotton buds. See? Next. We have here crayon etching. No? I know, nakaagi mo anib ko sa elementary na agid ni. Hindi ni mawala. Sa akong panahon na naapa ni, dali po sa muang kuan, our time, naagin ni siya. Okay, so as you can see in the left uh, corner of the screen, that's an example of crayon itching. So materials, crayon, itching stops. So, sa mga itching stops, katong yung i-itch, yung gamit yung i-itch, pwede mong gamit yung toothpick or any mga bagay nga pwede mong i-itch. Pwede kutsilyo pero amping lang para di masaman. Then long band paper again, ruler and marker. Okay, so to apply that, pag imuhan na, imuhan dyan muna muna ang mga isang design ni Muhang kinahamalan. So first na mga i-apply kaya ang crayons. No, i-shade ni muna siya sa band paper na imuhang i-marginan of 1 inch, nag-atindo kay portrait. Then, ay, pun o na siya ni mo, mag-himo baka darag rainbow. Then after that, imuha siya i-cover of black tanan. Then after covering a black, na black na color, pwede na ka mag-itch kung sa mga design ni mong kinahamalan. Pero mas better ko kung inyuhang gamiton kay pastel na crayon. Mm -hmm. Katong dali na kayo makuhan. Yes, so here's the other example. Oh. See how the artist made it. They're very creative. Next, we have here the melted crayon blowing. Okay, so melted crayon class, kinahangla na kita mga pala ng heat. Kung so, saan pagtunaw sa akuan, crayon kung wala heat, Okay, so the materials are crayon, blower, long band paper, ruler, and marker. Kung kanang maingon mo, teacher, kinahangan din mag-blower? Of course, kung wala, be resourceful. You can use candle. You can use kanang lighter. Yung mga sunugot ng crayon, then ikaw na ibahala o blow ana niya. Okay? Then take note nga, ang margin, what is gihapon, and the orientation is portrait. Here's the other example. Okay. Next, watercolor blowing. Okay, so ang watercolor blowing class is pari-pariya sa sa crayon. Ang nakalahi lang, ang gigamit kay watercolor o bili crayon. Okay, so all the materials are watercolor, of course, straw, long band paper, ruler, and marker. Remember, long band paper, yun akong kinahanglan. And please use a straw, no? Para di mas scattered, maayon na yung gitlog. 
So sa left corner sa inyong screen class, you can see or you will see the example of a watercolor blow. Another example are here. See how creative the artist is. Next, we have here the watercolor spotting. Okay. We need watercolor, brush, long band paper, ruler, and marker. Okay, note again, margin is one inch, orientation is four feet. So, teacher, if you will ask me, teacher, is that a watercolor spotting? Yes, that's a watercolor spotting art. But then, the combined sa sa painting of watercolor. Watercolor painting rather or watercolor spotting. So, doha siyang i-apply. Okay? So, when you say watercolor spotting, ito papisik-pisik ka. That's why you need a brush para imong ipisik-pisik sa imong art. So, as you can see, ng mga spot dirang dapita, mo na siya ang ginatawag na spotting, ka na mga circle-circle, ka na mga pisik-pisik. Okay. Next, other example are here. Di lang po di langgam-langgam patanan, ha? You can also, ano, try ka ng different things in Momakita Next, we have here the collage. Okay, so materials are old magazine, sea source, blue, long band paper, ruler, and marker. Oh, what another painting? Painting, ha? So, kinahangan ako makita ang collage. It is made up of old magazine. You can use band, uh, you can use, uh, what's this? Newspaper. Kapag din naman gamit yung balay, ito mga browser. Remember again, margin is one inch, orientation is four. Okay? I hope na nakasabot ang mata. Other example. Okay. Next, the silhouette. Okay, a silhouette class. The materials needed are watercolor. Pwede po kang magamit ang pastel crayons. And of course, kinahangan yung ginana siya sa long band paper. Then, ruler and mark. Remember, margin is 1 inch. Orientation is 4 inch. Okay. So, ang sinuit, ang pagbuhat sa sinuit class is, kanang, mura siya, anino ba? Mura siya black lagi sa tanahin. Pero maklaro siya tungo sa mga color colors, ayang, ayang background color. Okay. Easy. Next, we have your abstract painting. Okay. So, materials, watercolor, long band paper, ruler, and marker. Margin, one inch, orientation, four, three. Okay, so mauna siyang abstract, no? Painting, ang murag dili masabtan, pero nasa siya yung message na gihatag. Nasa siya idea ang gihatag o kung sana siya. Okay? Here are other examples. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you've learned something. And I hope nga masubmit na ninyo siya um, on time. Okay? Kay if makasubmit mo o delayed na, of course, na na siya deduction. And remember, basahan po ninyo ang instruction na gibutang na ko sa inyong worksheets. Okay? So, I need you to follow the instructions. Kaya dili ko ganahan ang estudyante nga dili ka mo follow the instructions. Dirabi ako gabi sa inyong performance. So, if dili mo kapas din sa inyong journal, of course, na ginay deduction. It's unfair man po sa uban na nisubmit sila dahil sa mga ikaw wala. Okay? But if you have some valid reason, then talk to me. I will always reconsider. Okay, so I hope everybody's clear. Once again, I am Teacher John Ray V. Togle, your contemporary Philippine arts instructor. One school, one victory, one is JCCI. Good afternoon.